All right, boys, let's jump right into today's video. Um, Explore ST review, and uh, this isn't your normal review. We're gonna actually show you what this truck can do and give my honest opinion on it. As a sports car owner standpoint, um, not an SUV standpoint, we I have driven a Jeep SRT, um, so it's kind of like a good feel from the SRT to this. I wasn't a fan of these trucks when they came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, eh, whatever, it's a souped up Explorer SD badge. They put some brakes on it, but truly, this truck is actually pretty nice. All right, so first impression of the ST, let me tell you all this. Um, after coming from a Jeep SRT, we did have one of them, drove it for, we had it for over a year, but it did start having transmission issues. Anyway, besides the point, ST, it feels like it can be very sporty when it needs to be. Um, that is something that I like kind of didn't like about the SRT. It kind of always felt sporty, kind of rode a little rugged. Um, and that's fine. I mean, really don't mind that you're getting a sporty SUV. But the ST, I feel like just like it, since it's newer, it just does it so much better. And I haven't been in a SRT vehicle since probably 2014, I believe that was, or 2014 or 2015. I think that was the year of the Jeep we had. I think it's 2015. Um, and yeah, this this truck just feels like super planted. Like, you know, I, every time I usually drive SUV, nothing really impresses me because they all feel sloppy. They all feel sluggish. They feel kind of top heavy almost and like want to give you that rollover feeling. But coming from sports cars and Mustang, the Shelby and the regular GT, this has a very low center of gravity and I feel like I can take a turn at very, very high speed. Um, and granted that it's being all, it's all wheel drive, it hooks up and goes from a dead stop. I'll show you, I'll turn around, we'll just hit it from a dead stop, launch it. I'll put in sport mode, trash control all the way off. This truck hooks up and it books. It, it moves pretty freaking well, surprisingly. But let me tell y'all something. If this truck did have the Coyote engine, I will be an owner of one. And I think Ford would sell these things like absolute freaking hotcakes. Um, Cause this would be a direct competitor with the SRT. And I think the motor, the Coyote engine is leaps and bounds smarter more efficient and just a lot stronger of a platform than srt um being the 392 versus the regular 5.0 coyote so let's mess with the dry modes turn them okay you got normal eco and sport mode so all right let's see what this truck can do do that and all right let it load traction control yep same thing as the shelby hold for advanced track off Okay, she's off. We're ready to party. Um, we'll find a little spot. We'll brake boost her up and we'll launch her. See what she can do from a dead stop. I think it's actually going to feel pretty quick. This will be my first time launching it. Damn, it actually felt a lot more peppier right there. Just lay into it. All right, not bad. I mean, granted, this is the EcoBoost. I really don't know how much power these trucks are making, but we can stop right here and launch her. I must say, the 10-speed does feel very crisp in this truck. The downships are very present. Everything feels good. All right, let's power break it up a little bit. See what we can do. Feel the truck squatting. Damn, okay. Okay. All right, yep, this is definitely gonna beat the Raptor in a race. I was really thinking that this is gonna be much slower than the Raptor, um, Yeti, and I'm saying that. I, Yeti just feels, it feels decently quick. It doesn't feel slow, but this is this is actually pretty quick, wow. And if anyone from Ford is watching this, um, if you guys make one with a Coyote, please put me first on the list. Um, I would love to test drive it, review it, and um, put a Whipple on it, that's just me. Um, yeah, I'd be down for that. As you can see, pretty good interior, nice, thick, bulky steering wheel. Definitely, you could tell just from getting in the truck, you're definitely in something more sporty, not your average SUV. Um, the one thing I was like, kind of like questioning is like, why did they put the same shift knob that's in the Shelby GT500, also in the Ford GT, also in Ford Fusions. I don't even know what else it is in. Um, now it's also in the Ford Explorer. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does the job, but I wish Ford would change them up and make them look a little different. Um, it's literally like spitting image the same. You got manual mode here, same as the Shelby. Start downshifting, third. We might do a second gear hit. We might just do a little roll. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't figure out how to pop the hood. I popped it once, 
Mind you, I did not even look over here. It says pop it twice. Pull that thing twice and then it releases the whole hood. Absolute idiot. Before we get under the hood though, check out the back. I know I showed you guys a little bit of the back seats, but it's clean. You got that visor, which is pretty sick. I mean, Ford did these trucks up super nice. Super clean, a lot of leg room. I'm six foot, let me see. Oh yeah, plenty of space, front and back. That's a plus. If you got the boys with you, easily everyone fit in there. Over to the back, it's got that little nice sporty look to it. Quad exhaust, those tips need to be changed as soon as possible. Um, not bad for stock, but they are super tiny. Are those fake exhaust tips? Wait, hold up. Yep, they're fake, um, which is kind of cool and not so cool at the same time. So you can see at the bottom is where the, f the fumes actually comes out, and it's kind of a turn down. I guess it's a good and a bad thing. At least the exhaust tips will never get dirty. Unlike the Shelby and Apollo, those things get absolutely freaking disgusting. And these stock wheels from the factory, they actually kind of look like signature wheels. Um, same kind of style. You want to check out the Shelby. Kind of looks similar. Similar kind of spoke, similar design, nothing too shabby. So now the bread and the butter, the massive big block EcoBoost we got under here. Yep, looks like a lot of wires, a lot of hoses going on. You can see definitely the truck is, wow, that actually seems super flimsy. Yeah, that actually is pretty flimsy. I thought that would have been way thicker, but it does have a strut tire brace. So um, you could tell this truck is definitely made for performance and there is a lot of room down there. You could definitely fit a Coyote down there. Oh, look, you can see the turbo. A little turbo right there for the EcoBoost. Yeah, it's a pretty clean setup, you know. I mean, it's not bad. A lot of potential with these trucks. Upgrade the turbos, downpipes, intercooler, like I said, and you could definitely crank these up. Put it on E85, get a whole lot more power out of this truck, and you never know. Could be a Trackhawk killer. I haven't seen them as fast as the Trackhawks, but anything's possible nowadays. Really, anything is. So you guys asked for the review on the Explorer. We're getting that done, showing you guys a little bit of everything about that. Now, we're going to talk about some of the cars. GTR just got a full interior redone. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Hopefully dropping maybe Thursday or Friday. We're gonna go over the full interior. It is a 2009, so the interior practically was falling apart. Got that all redone by a local shop near us. A plus actually referred us to this shop. They do great work just like them, so they did a phenomenal job on the GTR. I'll give you guys actually a little bit of a sneak peek if it's unlocked. So if it's unlocked, you guys get a sneak peek. If not, I'm sorry. It is unlocked. You guys are lucky. Check that out, all done, paint matched, Alcantara on the dash, Alcantara on the roof. That's all I'm showing you. We'll get into that more detail in another video. And I told you guys I was going to Orlando for the whole, not the whole month of February, but like a good portion of it, maybe two, one to two weeks. Um, and I'm gonna take the Shelby, and you guys thought I was gonna trailer it with the Raptor and the trailer. And we're gonna do Tail of the Dragon also in Atlanta, Georgia. We're gonna do that also. Um, so we're gonna meet up with Aaron, the whole squad, all the Georgia boys. And then we're also gonna be going to Orlando, racing the Shelby. And I figured, you know what, why not? This is probably one of the most American cars, best American cars ever made in my opinion. Um, forget the Corvette, forget the Hellcat. Um, in my opinion, this is absolutely number one. We are going to drive this a thousand miles to Florida, thousand miles back, and then we're gonna go race it at probably Georgia Speedway, I think it was called, where they have like the big racetrack. Um, if they let us, if we fall, the dates fall correct, we will be racing it there too and doing Tale of the Dragon and staying up at the mountain. So that is a little update on the Shelby and what's gonna be going on in the month of February. So stupid amount of videos will be coming out that next month. And over to Apollo, the killer in the garage. So you guys know, um, we're doing a like kind of a race car build with this one. Um, I'm kind of done of where it is and where it's at. I've kind of had my fun with it. So let's take it up a notch and do some more dig racing with it. Converter and two-step is getting ordered this week. Um, I know I've said it before multiple times, but I've been on the fence about so many different routes I want to take and everything going on in life. So that is solidified. Dropping off some cash next week to the shop. They're getting that ordered. 4,000 plus converter stall going in Apollo with a two-step. So we're going to be doing cash days, um, dig racing, uh, no prep events, stuff like that. You're going to see this 10-speed in the streets of Mexico running some people down. So we're going to be doing that with Apollo. That's on the Shelby. That's on the GTR. And back to the freaking Explorer.
I truly wish I had someone else here to help me film. Um, we could do the Explorer race versus the Raptor, but I got no one to help me. So maybe we'll have to do that in another video. I'll have to plan out a little better, try to get someone to help me to race for you guys so you can see that. We'll race first the EcoBoost, see if it absolutely smokes me. Then we'll do a later video of it racing the Raptor R. The Raptor R should be here hopefully in a few more weeks. Um, after driving it, I fell completely in love with the truck. I will have one for myself in white though. Um, maybe in the next two years. I really do like the EcoBoost one though. I, ha I haven't had a single issue with that truck. Um, it's brand new, obviously, but knock on wood, there's been a lot of problems with them here and there. But I will keep it. I will keep it if it, it stays good to me. I will keep it, take it with me to Florida, and just enjoy it and use it what it's meant for. It's a truck. So the main reason everyone clicked on this video is a Shelby owner reviewing a Ford, a Ford ST. And you know, you might be thinking, like, what is his opinion going to be? And I'm going to say... If you truly, truly want a very well-built SUV that has potential where you can make it a little bit faster, be a little street sleeper, nothing crazy. You ain't going to be out killing out full bolt on 10 speeds like that one over there. But it will be fun. It's very fast. It's very comfortable. And it does good on gas. And it's all around a very well-built truck. You can throw your friends in the back, family, whatever the case may be, and still gap someone on the street and have a very reliable, very safe SUV. So hopefully, if you were this close to pulling the trigger on that truck, Hopefully this video helped you pull the trigger and you went to your local Ford dealer and bought it um, because I don't think you will be making a bad purchase. But I must say, get the one with the big Brummos. This one doesn't look as good with it. Just get the massive ones. They look so much better. I, I believe they're the same ones that are on the Shelby. Like, look at the Shelby ones. The Shelby ones are freaking insane. Insanely big. And if look it up. Just Google it right now. Pause the video. Go on Google. Ford ST with massive Brumbos. That's like, I swear, I swear to God, it's the same ones that go on the Ford um, ST. And the way that car stops, this truck with those Brumbos will probably throw you through the front windshield. Today's video wasn't nothing super crazy, but drop a like on today's video. Drop a comment for me. Let's have a conversation down in the comments. Ford Explorer ST, very, very, very good truck. Um, this is one of the slow months for me. Really cold, really ain't much going on. No car shows, no events, nothing like that. So it's kind of like pulling teeth trying to make videos but i'm trying to make good ones for you guys so that's i don't want to put out crap so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mess around with the st nothing crazy you guys know the plans gtr gt500 and apollo hopefully you guys are watching this and you live in florida so i will be seeing you guys soon keep an eye out you see a red shelby gt500 driving around orlando with an italian flag on it you guys are gonna know it's me thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget make sure you hit the link in the description every single purchase of a shirt hoodie whatever you want on the website comes with a free cup of coffee coffee has been selling like crazy i'm truly blessed i cannot thank you guys enough so thank you guys so much for the support head down the link in the description make sure if you were borderline about going buy an st just pull the trigger just do it you deserve it go buy an st go buy a shelby go buy a gt if you can um even a gtr imports uh, they're cool too. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.